video, we will show you how to quickly increase or reduce an amount by a given percentage. Our aim is to calculate any increase or decrease within 10 seconds. Our objectives over the next 6 minutes or so are to show you how to do an increase or reduce a number by a given percentage extremely quickly, and test this skill in written and table-based contexts. We will base the main learning points on an example question, so try it on your own first, and then we will break it down together, step by step. So, how did you tackle this question? If you said that you would calculate 12% of 40 using any method, and then subtracting the answer from 40, then give yourself a bronze star. If you said that you would multiply 40 by 0 0.88, give yourself a silver star. But if you said that you would multiply 40 by 0.88, then you get the gold star. 40 multiplied by 0.88 gives 35.2. The jumper will cost £35.20. Multiplying by 0.88 finds 88% of an amount, which is the same as the original amount reduced by 12%. By subtracting the percentage change from 100%, you will find the number that you need to multiply by. 100 minus 12 is 88, so the correct answer will be 88% of the original price. For the next step, you likely will need to use the calculator, but here's how you can still save valuable seconds. Multiplying by 0.88 rather than 0.88 saves an extra one or two seconds of typing time. I suspect that as you're likely to perform this operation dozens of times during the UK CAT test, this shortcut will save you enough time to answer a whole extra question. So you can now decrease by an amount confidently. Before we practice more questions on this, let's learn how to increase by an amount just as fast. Not enough students know how to do this quickly. Try with the next question. Question 2. Item P was initially valued at £54,000, but its value rose by 14% over the course of the last year and by 8% over the course of this year. What is the value of item P now? To increase by 14%, multiply by 1.14. The 1 at the front just represents the original amount, and the 0.14 serves to increase the amount by 14%. We do not multiply by 0.14, as that would merely find 14% of the original amount and force us to take further step of adding that 14% to the original amount. Instead, multiply by 1.14 to increase by 14% directly. Do you see the difference? 54,000 times 1.14 equals 61,560. And now, can you increase this by 8%? Did you get 66,484.8? Great! That's because we multiply our previous answer by 1.08 to increase by 8% giving us £66,484. Note that in a question like this, which looks at growth over time, we need to know the value after the first year and use this as a starting figure for the 8% rise in the second year. Some students might try to cut corners and add 14% to 8% to calculate a total of 22% increase on the original value. This will not get you the correct answer, so don't fall into this trap. Fully equipped with the fastest techniques to increase and decrease by a percentage, Let's practice one more question together.
Before the CEO's announcement, the value of a share was £5.76. After the announcement, the value of the share increased by 250%. What is the new value of the share? Don't be intimidated just because it's a large percentage increase. We follow the same steps as before. Remember when we wanted to increase by 7%, we added 0.07 to 1, giving us 1.07 as the multiplier. 0.07 is just how you represent 7% as a decimal. Likewise, to increase by 20%, we add on 0.20 to 1, giving us 1.20 as the multiplier. How about to increase by 250%? 250% as a decimal is 2.5. We add 2.5 to 1 to get 3.5 as the multiplier. Don't forget to add the 1, otherwise you're calculating 250% of the original value, not the new figure after the increase. £5.76 multiplied by 3.5 gives us £20.16 as the correct answer. Let's do another question, this time looking at data presented in a table. Step 1 would be to multiply 13,453, representing the number of males in country P, by 1.07, to increase the number by 7%. You should have noticed from the table column headings that this figure is the number of males in thousands, and so the actual number of males in country P in 2018 was 13,453,000. But you should use the shorter version of this figure for your calculations. 13,453 multiplied by 1.07 equals 14,394.71. Step 2 would be to multiply 19,281, representing the number of males in country R, by 0.98, to reduce the figure by 2%. Again, the actual number is 19,281,000, but let's save some time. So, take 19,281 and multiply it by 0.98 to give you 18,895.38. Step 3 is now to subtract these numbers to find the difference in the number of males. 18,895.38 minus 14,394.71 gives us 4,500.67. We must remember that this figure should be multiplied by 1,000 to get the actual difference. 4,500 in thousands means 4.5 million in reality. Therefore, 4.5 million is the answer. This last step is essential, because as you can see here, there will often be an answer choice that matches a partially worked through answer. By choosing 4,500 as your answer, you'd have been very close, but remember, there are no marks for working out or close answers. You would have scored zero for all of your hard work by simply ignoring a column heading and not multiplying by 1000. We hope that now you feel able to increase or reduce an amount by a given percentage very quickly. Keep on practicing the skill until you can answer the questions faster than you can blink. Good luck and we'll see you soon. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.